Right, I'm gonna go in and see Robbie now. Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Yes, I'm wearing one of my Maybelline's. <laughs> I am heading to Plymouth today to go and see some family because I haven't seen my like any of my actual family since I've been, oh, except for my cousin Sam and Casey. But I haven't seen like my grandparents, my mum, Lance, Robert, like so many people since I've been back. So very excited to go down to Plymouth. Gonna be going on the train, heading down there and seeing everyone and anyone. And I think I'm gonna be taking my medals on a little bit of a medal. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I'm happy to go and see him. So I made it onto the train and I'm finally gonna have a chance to sit down and chill for a little bit because it's been so hectic since I've been back. It's been exciting but hectic. Lots of meetings, lots of exciting projects coming up at the same time. Whenever I've had a day off, it's been, you know, post celebration day off and that's not a restful day off. So today, I'm gonna take the time to chill out on this train, have a good old knit and I'm actually wanting to make a, one of my metal cases, so I'm going to do it right now. Ooh. Like I said, I made one on the train. Here it is. Can't help myself, can I? Just can't help myself. Of course, when I get to Plymouth, it's raining. My brother's meant to be here to pick me up, but so far, no sign. Is that your chew, chew toy, Poppy? <laughs> Is that nice on your teeth? Look at her. This right here is Myla Aurora Daily. Look. Look, who's that? Can you see yourself? You're a cute, you... Oh, she smells delicious. You smell like a little newborn, well, she's not that newborn, although she's so tiny, she's nine weeks old. And this is Florence. Say hi, Florence. Or Elsa, I should say. <laughs> and they've just had a little look at the medals. Milo wasn't impressed. <laughs> so I'm now back from Plymouth, and today is the day that I am going to Canada to see my boys, which I'm so very excited about. So I've woken up early, hence the morning face. But talking about Plymouth, I didn't film all that much, but you saw little bits here and there, but I got to see my family on my dad's side, and then I got to see my family on my mum's side. And basically my medals kind of went on a little bit of a tour <laughs> around my friends and family which was really nice and really fun uh, you know because I feel like every single one of those people that uh, you've seen in those photos have helped me in some way to becoming an Olympic medalist an Olympian whatever it is they've been you know part of that journey since I was a little kid so it's really cool to actually be able to see everyone and celebrate a little bit uh, but not the most important ones I haven't seen yet so I'm very excited now to go to Canada. I'm gonna get on the plane and knit and it'll go in a flash. Made it on the plane and in nine hours time I'm gonna be reunited. <laughs> Big smiles under the smiles, I'm telling you that right now. I made it to Canada. Oh my god. And Lance is wearing Team GB kit. Yeah. Why aren't you? Well I'm not Team G well I am team still Team GB, always Team GB, but we're back together again. Well, it had been so long since I saw you, I just wanted to make sure you recognized me. Oh, shush. Yeah. Now I've got to go home and see the little man, and I am very excited about seeing him. Look at this. It says champion, and it says, we love you, and there's a go, papa, go on the door. Right, I'm gonna go in and see Robbie now. I'm nervous. Oh my god, no. Oh, Robbie. I missed you. Yeah. It's Papa. 
Oh, I love you. I love you so much. Robbie, would you like some champagne? Because we've got some special, lovely champagne. Are you going to have it in a big boy glass? Okay, I'm going to pour it right now. It's going to go pop. Are you ready? Pop ready. It's not vodka, this is champagne. First morning in coming out to my little sign. Uh, excuse me, what are you doing? You're not driving the car. What do you think you're doing, young man? What do you think you're doing? Are you driving the car? Well, there we go. We're, we're about to go for breakfast and Robbie's driving. Robbie, you have to make sure you make sure you drive at the speed limit, okay? Which one is? Which one should start the engine? You want to well, start the engine? We're not starting the engine with you sitting in the seat, my darling. Why? Because you might have to be a little bit older before you drive. We'll go go karting instead, shall we? Well, we're going for breakfast first morning in Canada. Back with fam. Loving it. Show me how you do your colouring. Is it pointing at Papa? What, what do you want to say? I love you I love so much. I love you so much. That's very nice. Are you gonna... Cheese, Nana. Cheese, Robbie. So now, back to regular life. What was? What are we doing now, Robbie? I said you're making. I'm making. Huh? Yeah, but you're making it. Chocolate chip cookies, chocolate chip cookies. You're just too busy eating the mixture off the spoon, aren't you? So the cookies are in the oven, and now we're gonna go downstairs, and while they're in the oven, Papa's got something new for you to play with, hasn't he? Papa went to Toys R Us, because Toys R Us is still a thing in Canada, and we're gonna go down and play. Should we play? Robbie. This is it here. What is it? It's golf. Do you know what golf is? It's a game, and I'm gonna show you how to play. Yeah, that's it. These are the holes that you have to try and get it into, and you have to try and get the ball into that hole. So I'll show you, ready? You use the, these clubs, and then we get the ball out. Right, so pop, you get your thing like this, and you put your, and you go like this, and then you have to hit it like this. Oh, I missed! Stand up, that's it. And, oh! <laughs> he wasn't interested in golf whatsoever, so we're back to playing with cars, look. Perfect. So, we made the cookies, but I made the rookie error of the fact that the oven is set in Fahrenheit and not in Celsius. So they went a bit flat. <laughs> and by the time I realized they were just melted mush, I then had to up the temperature, put them in for a little bit longer, but look, they were all stuck together because they were melted and flat. That's what you get for a Brit being in Canada. So there we have it, first few days in Canada. I've got my hair, it's so awful. I need to like get a haircut, it's so long and weird. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it. And you know, make sure you subscribe and all that kind of stuff because there's gonna be more Calgary adventures coming soon. So please do let me know if you have any ideas of what to get up to in Calgary. But in the meantime, yeah, make sure you subscribe and all that and I'll see you next time with some more fun and games.